So we usually don't do React videos, but today I wanna to talk about a very interesting video by Victor Wooten called Music Theory is Simple. Okay, how many keys are there? I Say it, 12, good answer, but wrong. How many, how many keys? You were about to say 12, right? That was my answer. Who's going, it, keep your hand up if you have an answer different from 12. What's the answer? 24 is logical, more logical than 12 because there's majors and minors. So we would double it. Makes sense, right? Still wrong, okay? Don't guess, tell me if you know. One, one, one is not a good answer. But now we're trying to be clever. What's the answer? 30 is the answer. So that's pretty interesting already, 30 keys. And he's right, isn't he? This is the way he arrives at this number. Let's say you pick up at random a piece of music. The piece could be in a major key or a minor key. There's also a key signature in the piece and it could have no sharps or flats or any number of flats from one to seven or any number of flats from one to seven. So there are 15 different key signatures times two because it could be major or minor. That gives us 30 possible keys. And that's the right answer. And yes, I understand that there are some enharmonic redundancies with this method, like how G flat and F sharp are the same key, but there's still a chance of you drawing either of those keys when picking a piece at random. And while playing in G flat versus playing in F sharp just might be a matter of perspective, as you'll see later on, perspective can be everything. If you're new to MDEX Music, we create music books and apps, piano arrangements, and we discuss improvisation, songwriting, and sometimes we take music theory to strange and uncharted places. So subscribe and hit the bell and join us for exclusive access to our ever-expanding library of music resources. All right, so far so good. But then he says this. Most of us don't realize that we only have major and minor keys. That's it. Dorian is not a key, it's a mode, True. right? Yeah. Harmonic minor is a scale, not a key. Well, hold on just a second there. So let's say I pick up So What by Miles Davis and I wanna practice it in all keys. But which key is So What in? There are no sharps or flats in the key signature. So it should be in C major or A minor, it's relative minor, correct? Not exactly. The key signature in so what is the one for C major or A minor, but so what is not in any of those keys. So what is in D Dorian, and then modulates to E flat Dorian later. So if we thought so what was in the key of C major or A minor, we'd be missing the point. This D minor seven is not a two minor in the key of C, it's a one Dorian. The entire tension release contour is completely different. If we practice thinking of C as our tonic target, we're not gonna sound in the spirit of this song since the melodic and harmonic rules are completely different. A great example of what I'm talking about is in the album Kind of Blue, which by the way features So What? In the album, you can hear how Bill Evans and Miles Davis were already playing modal, while Cannonball Adderley was still playing bebop lines. The mood and colors in a modal tune are completely different and require a completely different approach. And the same goes for many other pieces, including pieces in harmonic minor, which, by the way, there are tons of. So the 30 keys assessment is technically correct, for songs that are tonal. But if the spirit of using this perspective is to make sure we practice in all keys in order to get better at music, then not only is 30 keys not even close to the real amount of possible keys, it might not even be the most practical approach. If we say D Dorian is not a key or C harmonic minor is not a key, then we would only be practicing and learning how to play tonal pieces and we would have a sort of blind spot towards certain real world applications. When you think about how massive the world of music can be and how finite our time is, prioritizing what should be learned now versus the more esoteric stuff that you might come across later is imperative. 
In other words, is E sharp a thing? Yes. Is it more common or practical than D Dorian? No. So whether it's a key or not, practice D Dorian. E sharp major can wait. Having said all that, I think Victor Wooten's video is great. We love different perspectives like this, especially when it comes to music theory, because the more perspectives we have on a given topic, the more rounded our knowledge becomes. Thanks again for watching. Definitely check out Victor Wooten's original video on the topic. We'll put a link in the description down below.